What's up guys, Big Lunch here, back with another reaction video. Today we're gonna be reacting to the new character breakdown of Gold Lewis. Uh, he's the newest DLC character for Guilty Gear and he looks fucking dope, so let's get into it. A character who can affect oh shit there's not two mains and keep the opponent locked down by attacking Damn, look how big his name is in the take the opponent down with his undeniable the health bar. overwhelming power behemoth typhoon gold lewis behemoth swings his typhoon. you can perform a variety of attacks by inputting a half circle in the direction of your choice and hs oh snap as the attack properties vary greatly depending on the half circle oh shit input, use each one for different Yo, I have not seen this type of like command in any other fighting games. This looks dope. I wonder how slow this is gonna be actually, because it looks different slow. situations. Be careful as you must hold the final direction after the command has okay. been in order to it. activate Behemoth Typhoon. In this Behemoth Typhoon, Gold Lewis swings his coffin from behind him to the front, going low. The range is long enough that this attack will reach the opponent even when canceled from the edge of far sanding ass. It looks real ass. slow though. In this behemoth typhoon, Gold Lewis swings his coffin from behind him to Look the, at front, the way the going ground high. cracks. This is a long range overhead, meaning it can mix up an opponent who is blocking low from a distance. If it connects late into its active frames, it can be followed up on. It has oh, slow starting, so mix it up with other Hold on, big boy just got his feet in the air. Wait, what? Move from a distance. It has. Yo, oh, big boy is getting up there. Hey, <laughs> oh my goodness, I could not do that. Trust me. Hey, as a fellow big person, we cannot do this. That's how you know this is the anime. A slow starting, so mix it up with other versions of Behemoth Typhoon to catch the opponent off guard. In this behemoth typhoon, Gold Lewis swings his coffin from in front of him to behind, going low. The quick startup makes this move easy to use and include in combos. Mm. I wonder in if it has a hitbox behind him. Typhoon, for Gold like crossing Lewis up swings his coffin from characters. in front of him to behind, going high. This move has a long range and sends the opponent flying up on hit. Uh, in so this that's probably a combo starter. Typhoon, Gold Lewis swings his coffin down forward from above him. This is an overhead attack with a rather Dude, fast start and cannot be right, I wonder by what kind of opponents. unique thing he has. Let's see In him. this behemoth typhoon, the meter on Gold him? Lewis swings his coffin forward from down low to above. It's easy to go for a follow up after this move as it lifts the yep. enemy up high. Yep. Big damage, big damage. In this behemoth typhoon. Gold Lewis swings his coffin from above to below, going behind him. This attack is a low and cannot be blocked by standing opponents. If it connects late into its active frames, it can be followed up on. Break through oh, your opponent's snap. defense with the overhead and low versions of Behemoth Typhoon. In this Behemoth Typhoon, Gold Lewis swings his coffin from below to above, going behind him. As this attack knocks the opponent back, it works well oh, in strings shit. when you want to change positions with the opponent. It's a side, a side security stance level. Damn. The security level increases as time passes. Okay. Certain special moves become more powerful when the security level is high. Nice. The security level is reset after one of these special moves is used. Look for the right time to use these special moves. Damn, the drone. The drone looks dope. Thunderbird. Gold Lewis sends out a projectile that moves forward. When the security level is high, it covers a longer distance and increases the number of hits. Okay. Although it has slow startup, it creates an opportunity to go on the offense once the nice. projectile is out. Nice slow pressure. Similar to this the butterfly, so way to approach the opponent. This is gonna be well as an this is gonna be to dope for projectiles as well. Yep, some good Oki setup. Skyfish. Gold Lewis sends out extremely fast multi-hit projectiles. The number of projectiles increases when the security level is high. As it sends out many projectiles, you can deal a good amount of chip damage to the opponent even chip. when the attack is blocked. Also, like Thunderbird, 
This can yeah, counter your opponent's that's... projectiles. Skyfish can be used to react Oh, quickly. okay, this is dope. Down with the system. An attack that is invincible on startup and sends the opponent flying away on hit. It's the you can go for major damage by using this in combos. That's you can dope. perform a follow-up attack when this hits at close range. Oh my god, what a you huge can wall bounce! Move by inputting a full circle Boom. in the oh direction my of god. your choice. That looks dope. Key. The move is powered up depending on the number of full circle commands inputted. Burn Wait, it down. What? An attack that fires a laser that moves in from a distant position. As it hits multiple times, you can keep the opponent locked down, both when this attack hits and is blocked. Okay, so it's like when the security level is high, set it up on the OP. number of hits increases, making it possible to keep the opponent locked down even longer. As it hits a wide range, this move works to catch the opponent from a distance. This is dope. Use each version of the, he has the whole Typhoon hammer of Dawn. suitable situations, putting pressure on the Ooh, opponent. Ooh, that each a faint? That was dope. The grounded version is especially useful as it sends the opponent back. Dude, he looks even when so blocked. slow though. It's also I already know people are going to complain about him being low tier. To bring the opponent into close range where you want them. You can always rely on burn it down when you have tension yep. gauge for it. I'm a, Once I'm, the opponent is in your range, use Behemoth Typhoon until you take them down. Thanks for. Yo, this is crazy. Dude, this guy is, this guy is wild, but I can already tell people are going to call him low tier. He's probably not going to have a lot of playing competitive. He looks fun as hell, though. Oh, my goodness. This shit is crazy. This shit is dope. I don't I don't really like I get that his behemoth type of his the, the different inputs have different like utility. But like, I feel like they could have like made that just a little more simpler. You know, just did a, a quick overhead, did a quick low and then and then a side switch. They probably didn't need like all the other stuff, all the other ones, but I mean, it's it's dope. It's dope. It's definitely something I'm gonna I'm gonna look forward to learning. His skyfish, that move is dope. He whips out the big Gatling gun. That shit looks that looks so clean, so dope. Well, let me see if I can get. To, yeah, here we go. The security level increases. As so time dope, passes. and it does Certain a lot of chip damage too. That's gonna be clean. That's definitely gonna be clean. But uh, he's flashy. He's dope. He's clean. He can summon something. He has a, a secondary meter, so there's gonna be a lot of like, you know, setting up and doing all that stuff. Uh, yeah, he's gonna be dope. He's definitely gonna be dope. He looks, he looks super. I wonder what his like. I mean, we're gonna see. Like we saw him get on his fucking hands and, and kick him. That that move was clean. But I wonder. How many uh, normals he has with the alien and stuff. I know his dust move probably revolves around the alien a lot, but that's pretty clean. I was hoping that he would have more moves, with, more special moves with the alien. You know, it'd be cool if uh, his behemoth move kind of involved like the alien a little bit more than just the coffin itself. But I mean, he looks dope. He looks, he's a big body. He's a big body character. And that's what we love over here. Big bodies. Even though we play Anjimito, because Anjimito is the coolest character in the game. He's a big body, and that's what we love. Goodness gracious. My god, this guy does tons of damage. Well, it's looking like the new main is incoming. Can't wait to play him. He comes out in a couple days. Uh, you're going to be seeing a lot more of him uh, on my channel later. I do a lot of gameplay. I play a lot of ranked. I play a lot of uh, Guilty Gear. Hopefully, I can play more fighting games in the future. But uh, if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you around. Peace.